Alrighty, so Gentle Criminal and La Brava have been finally added as the last DLC in My Hero 1 Justice 2. Or so we thought. With that announcement, they actually announced that there is a My Hero 1 Justice 2 Season 2 DLC pass coming in Summer 2021, which is really amazing. I never thought this game was going to get a Season 2 pass, but I'm so excited that it is getting one, and I'm so happy because, hey, that's five new characters coming to this game, and that's amazing. At this point, I feel like there are a lot of characters on the table that could make it into this game. Like, I have a whole series where I talk about how certain characters could work in this game, so there are a lot of characters they could do. And and they could pick anyone at this point but I have my predictions on who is going to be on this pass and I chose these predictions based on a couple of things. The first thing is popularity in the community. You know, if the character is popular or a lot of people are requesting the character, I feel like they have a higher chance of making it into this season pass because, you know, people want these characters so they're obviously going to try to push for characters that people want. Number two, the relevance in the story. You know, how relevant are they in the story? Have they done much? Have they been in fights so they actually have like things to base their moveset on? You know, I feel like that's another important factor on picking these characters. And the third thing is, are these characters important for the campaign? Because if they decide to make a third game, they're gonna try to obviously make some characters for the campaign so they don't have to later. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, when the first game came out, Inasa was the last DLC character in that game. And Inasa was needed to tell this campaign in My Hero 1 Justice 2 because the provisional licensing exam mark was, I believe, the first half of this campaign. So. Inasa was needed. So they designed Inasa in the first game, but he wasn't, you know, needed until this game because, you know, that's when the story covered that part of the story. If that makes any sense. So I feel like if they did make a third game, it would cover from the cultural festival arc to the end of season five, which would probably be my villain academia. So I chose these characters, you know, based on if they might be needed for the campaign. So if they did anything important during, you know, that time frame between the cultural festival arc to My Villain Academia, then, you know, they're probably on this list. And one last big factor is something they actually said in the trailer, which is heroes and villains. They said heroes and villains. So basically, we might be getting, you know, multiple heroes and multiple villains by the way they, you know, made it sound. Now, granted, that just could be for marketing and stuff, um, but I feel like we might be getting multiple villains and multiple heroes on this pass. So there will be three heroes on this list and two villains because, you know, um, they said heroes and villains. So that's the last factor. So yeah, those are all of my like little factors I've, you know, chosen these characters off of basically to make my decision on who I think, you know, these characters are going to be on this pass. You know, these are my predictions. Again, you know, it's not like anything set in stone or anything like that like i don't know if these characters are coming into the game or not these are just my predictions and i want to see if i can get them right or not so yeah that's the reason of this video um if you guys would like to see my wish list i actually have that up on the channel i'm um, talking about the five characters i would like to see personally like those are five characters i would like to see you know based on my opinion so if you would like to see that that's up on the channel but yeah with all that out of the way let's begin the video and the prediction list also real quick there will be some spoilers from the my academia manga uh, I just wanted to warn you real quick just in case you didn't want to be spoiled. Now with all that out of the way, let's begin the video. Okay, so number one on the list is Hood. I believe Hood will be the first character on the DLC pass. The reason why I think Hood will be the first character on the pass is because A, he's needed to probably tell the first part of the campaign because if the campaign covers from the cultural festival arc to My Villain Academia, they're gonna need to have the Endeavor versus High End Nomu fight, which would be the High End Nomu Hood. So I feel like Hood is needed to tell the campaign. So I feel like he would be the first on the list. Also, the reason why I chose Hood as like the first DLC villain on the pass is because in the last DLC pass, you know, season one, we had five characters. Four of them were heroes, one was a villain. It went Hawks, Hatsume, Kendo, Tetsu Tetsu, and then Gentle, Criminal, and Labrava. Meaning the villain, the only villain on that pass came last. He was the last character to be added, or they were the last characters to be added. And, you know, I feel like they would try to start off with a villain because the last pass was basically filled up with heroes and we had to wait all the way to the end to get a villain. So I feel like they might start off with a villain because of that reason. Because we had to wait so long to get, you know, the only villain on that DLC pass. So I feel like they might start off the DLC pass with a villain to kind of like balance that out. Alrighty, so moving on to my next prediction, I have a class 1A student. Now, 
Class 1A and Class 1B are kind of fighting it out right now in the Class 1A versus 1B arc. And that's a pretty important arc, and I feel like that's something they would cover in the next game if they did do one. You know, if they did another game, I feel like that would be an important arc they would have to cover in the campaign. So I feel like they would try to design a Class 1A student, seeing that there are still seven missing from the game. So if they did choose a Class 1A student, I feel like it would either be Saro, Aoyama, or Shoji. The reason why I think it might be one of those three characters is because if we look at the rounds in the Class 1A versus 1B arc, each team has at least two characters or three characters that are in the game already. Um, I don't know if that made any sense, but I'll break it down so it makes sense. So if we look at round one, Kirishima, Kaminari, and Asui are in the game, and you know, you can pick them as a main character and two assist, because you know, you can have three characters on a team in this game. So that round is covered. Round two only has Tokoyami and Yayorozu in the game, because Aoyama and Hagakure are not in the game. If we look at round three, Ida and Todoroki are the only characters in this game, Ojiro and Shoji are not. Round 4, Bakugo and Jiro, Sero and Sato are not in the game. Round 5 has all, you know, the team in the game. It has Mineta, Deku, Uraraka, and Ashido, so that round is completely fine. So I feel like the first round and the fifth round are fine because, you know, they have enough characters that would cover, you know, a whole team in this game. But round 2, 3, and 4 don't have a full team, you know because they only have two characters that are in the game from that team. So I feel like the most prominent Class 1A students from those three rounds would be Aoyama, Shoji, and Sero. And I feel like, honestly, if I had to decide one out of three, I think it would be Aoyama, based on his popularity and his relevance in the story, because he's been getting a lot of moments to shine in the series, and a lot of people want him you know, over a lot of the other Class 1A students. And even though I would want Saro, you know, because he's my favorite character in the series and I want him in the game, he's my most wanted character, I feel like it would be Ayama based on his popularity in the community, his relevance in the story, and he is needed to tell the Class 1A versus 1B arc. So that's the reason why I chose Aoyama as the second prediction. Moving on to my third prediction, I have a Class 1B student, and the reason why I chose a Class 1B student is just like a Class 1A student, you know, they're needed to tell the Class 1A versus 1B arc if they decide to do another game. And I would pick either Monoma, Ibarra, or Setsuna for the same reason why I chose those three Class 1A students, because if we look at the rounds again, there are five rounds. In round 1, there's no representation from Class 1B in the game. Round 2 has Kendo, round 3 has Tetsu Tetsu, round 4 and 5 don't have any representation. So I would choose the most prominent 1B students, Ibarra, uh, Setsuna, and Monoma. And I feel like it would honestly be Ibarra. The reason why I think it would be Ibarra is because A, she's pretty popular in the community from, you know, being in the sports festival to the Class 1A vs 1B arc. I think Jutaro would be a really cool character, but... I feel like, you know, they would pick Ibarra because she's more popular in the community because she actually competed in the sports festival. And the reason why I would have to go with Ibarra is because I feel like they would save Monoma and um, Setsuna for My Hero 1 just as 3, seeing that they would actually draw a lot of attention to the game. And that's also the reason why I'm not adding Shinso to this list is because I feel like they would save those characters for a third My Hero game because it would draw a lot of attention to the game. So a lot of people would like look into it and maybe buy it because, you know, Shinso and Monoma are two popular characters and they have unique quirks. So I feel like they would honestly save those characters for a third game to be kind of like selling points or like um, trying to grab attention to the game, you know, trying to bring attention to the game. I feel like those two characters, um, along with Satsuna, would bring a lot of attention to that game. So that's the reason why I chose Ibarra over Monoma and Satsuna. And I feel like Ibarra, again, would be a pretty good character. Again, she's pretty popular because she actually competed in the sports festival and everything she did in the Class 1A versus 1B arc. So that is why I chose Ibarra. So for my fourth prediction, I have Mirko here. The reason why I have Mirko here is because she is one of the most requested characters in the entire community. And because of her popularity, and I heard she actually plays like a bigger part in the story later down the line, I feel like they would actually add her because, you know, She's one of the most requested characters. I heard she actually plays a bigger part in the story later down the line. Not to mention they could do like a lot for her moveset. And we've actually seen her fight briefly, you know, against Dobby in the anime already. And I feel like she would be a perfect character. And for the sole reason, you know, she is one of the most requested characters. You know, she is one of the most popular characters in the entire community. So again, that's the reason why I predict Mirko will be on this season pass. And probably the fourth um, DLC character because again 
she is going to play some more, you know, bigger roles in the story later down the line. Um, I don't really know when because, again, in the manga, I've only read up to the Class 1A vs. 1B arc because I stopped because I heard the My Villain Academia arc and everything past it gets pretty crazy, so I pretty much saved that for, like, the anime because I want to see it animated and stuff and I want to see what they do with it. So I don't really know anything past the uh, Class 1A vs. 1B arc because, you know, I'm saving it, but again, I've heard that she actually plays, like, a bigger role in the story. So, I feel like adding her as like DLC number 4 would be perfect, so yeah. And moving on to my final prediction, I have the character named Redestro. I don't know anything about this character, I really don't. All I know is he plays like a big part in My Villain Academia, and I feel like they would add him because, you know, he's a major villain apparently in that arc, and they said villains on the list, so him and Hood would be the villains on the list. And I just feel like because of that reason, of him playing like a big role in the next arc in season 5 and you know seeing that I think the campaign would cover from the cultural festival arc to my villain academia I feel like they would add him because he's needed to tell the campaign he's a villain and I've actually seen him a lot on like a lot of people's like wish list and um, prediction list and stuff so again because of popularity alone too I feel like he would be added again don't know anything about this character because I've never read my villain academia or anything past it but I'm excited to see what he does because he's a really hyped up character. So I really want to see what he does. And, you know, I think hopefully he would be a pretty interesting character. Again, don't know what he does. So, yeah. But that is my fifth prediction. And, yeah, that's basically it. So that is my prediction list for the My Hero 1 Justice 2 Season 2 DLC Pass. I think these are some solid picks. And I think they would be great to see in the game. Uh, if you guys would like to hear my wish list, then I already have a video up on the channel talking about that. And uh, yeah, that is my prediction list. Um, let me know down in the comments below who you would like to see. You know, let me know your wish list. And also, let me know your prediction list, like who you think is going to be on the pass, you know, based on, you know, certain factors like popularity, if they're needed to tell a campaign, or if they have any prominent moments in the story. I would love to hear your guys' predictions list and wish list in the comments below. But yeah, that is my prediction list. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Later.